I'd like to talk with you about a gentleman named Bob who is in IT and he dabbled in virtualization, but he didn't really have the skills to be good at it. So Bob tried lots of things. He tried books, he watched some YouTube videos, he tried figuring it out on his own, but nothing seemed to really click for Bob. Now that reminds me of another gal in IT, her name was Lois, and she wanted to be promoted within the company, but she also needed more skills. And she tried several things. She tried attending classes, using vendor documentation, reading blog posts, and she had a hard time sticking with it long enough to make a difference. So what Lois did is she scheduled small chunks of time daily. She committed to her friends and family about that study and used the right combination of video and hands-on so that she was able to gain the skills she needed. And after a few months, she was feeling confident with her skills. And that rubbed off on everything else she did professionally and personally. And she enjoyed providing increased value and getting the promotions and pay increases that she deserved. And that brings me back to Bob. Bob was able to find a training solution that provided concise, fun, and accurate training using CBT Nuggets that also included details on how to build his own hands-on lab to get that practice. The combination of fun, effective videos, along with the hands-on practice, did the trick, and it clicked. So he now knows the concepts and is mastering the skills, and thinking back on it, Bob realized that it was totally worth it to commit the time daily towards his goals, and that getting those skills was one of the best investments in himself that he had ever made. Someone once told me that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And the challenge is, if we don't take that single step, we're not on the journey. So I would start off by recommending that you and I schedule time to go through these nuggets. So regarding scheduling your time, take a look at what would be reasonable, perhaps 15 or 20 minutes a day at a certain time, and then block that off. And the great news is that most of the nuggets in this course are less than that time-wise. So you could easily enjoy about one and maybe even two nuggets a day just by carving out a little bit of time. And then during that time, let your friends and family know that you are studying. I've also noticed that when people publicly commit to studying, for example, 10 or 15 minutes a day, there's a little bit added pressure because they've committed to that publicly. So if you would like to commit to me publicly, either on Twitter or on Facebook, and just post, I commit to 10 minutes a day or 15 minutes a day, I will be right there rooting for you along with your friends and family who also want to see you succeed. Another big aspect is practicing hands-on. Now, as part of that, the good news is I walk you through how to build your own virtual lab so you can practice many of the techniques that we'll be learning. And as you practice hands-on, I would encourage you to be aware that you would never want to do anything <laughs> illegal or unethical against any systems that you're not authorized to perform that type of activity on. So when you're practicing hands-on, especially with hacking tools, do it in a safe and legal environment. And again, I walk through how to build the labs in this class, but if you also wanna go out and purchase labs separately, that's also an option as well. ECouncil.org, if you go up to their website and purchase their labs, they call them iLabs for Certified Ethical Hacker. So for a person who doesn't want to build their own virtualized environment, the iLabs are one solution to the problem of getting hands-on practice in a safe environment where you're not gonna damage production systems. And the third secret of getting the most out of our time together is to enjoy the journey. Have fun in every single nugget. I had fun creating it with the intent that you and I would be going through it together, enjoying the content, and having a boatload of fun learning it. So that's the basic three elements. Schedule time, practice what you learn, and enjoy your time. So I'm keeping this intro really, really short so we can get right to the content, which starts in the next nugget. So I'll see you there. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.